Come on, Sabir, bhai, only torque. So guys, in this situation, what is happening is is that this vehicle has a six-cylinder diesel engine in it. So idly, only the torque of the vehicle along with a lower okay. gear ratio is enough to get it out of tricky situation. But in this situation, this Don't is a very classic example of power to weight ratio wherein the weight of the vehicle, the body, the roll cage, uh, the tires and all the other aspects is bogging down or eating up the power of the engine. So what is happening is that uh, the power is going wasted. Also if you notice, uh, Samir has taken a right turn because the angle of the climb is such and the tires are towards the right. Now once he makes the tires uh, straight and he powers it, what happens is that uh, the drag coefficient is less and the weight and the power is all moving in one direction which uh, helps the vehicle get out of this tricky situation. Now watch how easily it gets out. So that's the trick guys. Always make your vehicle, uh, always consider the power to weight ratio before making a customized rig for yourself and uh, notice how other experts come out of tricky situations and you'll enjoy your four wheeling. So the vehicles have gone ahead and we the remaining guys are walking our way through. So we are trekking. Trust me guys, it's such an amazing feeling. The birds chirping around. You can hear a peacock quite far off. Other sweet sound of the wild birds. It's like a very nice symphony being played. And I'm absolutely loving it. So people, this is yet another example of, uh, you know, wasting your rubber and uh, not getting the power to the ground. Like I mentioned earlier, the power to weight ratio. So now in this case, what is happening is that the engine is quite powerful and talky, but the maximum potential of the engine has been utilized in dragging the vehicle around. And that's precisely the reason why it is unable to, uh, you know, uh, clear any obstacle or go through these tricky situations you know guys when we went up which is at the 30 point mark which is up ahead on this track as well as in the video and we spoke to a few other competitors who were owners of Maruti Gypsies and Mahindra Thas and Mahindra 550s and we just jokingly asked them hey how many times did you get stuck and how many times did you have to winch yourself out and they looked at us with that funny face and said not even once bro so that's exactly what I'm trying to tell you is that First of all, when you're making a rig and when you're spending so much, be sure about the power to weight ratio, which means that the power of the vehicle, the engine plant of the vehicle should be much more uh, powerful and should be much more uh, competent as compared to the weight of the vehicle. It shouldn't be this case wherein the engine has been utilized, the power of the engine has been utilized to drag the vehicle around and not clear obstacles. So be very sure guys, again I'm trying to tell you, it is all, it, the game is entirely on the power to weight ratio aspect. Okay. 
बिगड़ा था आगे मक्खन से निकल जाएगी अरे छोड़ो यार इट वाज सो सिंपल अपने बच्चे लोग क्यों आने की आवाज आती है अरे भाई यार मर्द है अरे तुम जैसे कि वापस ऊपर आए मैं तो आता हूँ। So guys, we've trekked six kilometers into the rainforest and allow me to show you the epitome of adventure and off-roading. Can you imagine the angle? So that is the people they're standing up. This is the angle. That is the vehicle stuck there. They're trying to recover it and and. Look at that. So there's one vehicle there, which is ours. There's another one there. There's another one there, and just keeps going down and down and down, down and down and down. Oh boy! just to give you an idea of the type of terrain and adventure that I am getting myself involved into I will walk you down this is the walk and I'm not exaggerating so I'm just trying to give you guys a feel of what it is but I don't have any handhold as such so that is the next Jeep let me come across and show you the deep ruts yeah. the jeep there so that's the angle So it's, if you realize, it's a complete traffic jam of more than 10, 15 crores worth of hardware. I think finally we've reached the vehicle that we wanted to. You know all this effort. Look at this bottle of tank. God damn, six kilometers of trek with just a few sips of water. So I'll just drink this and then uh, start recording again and update you guys.
लेफ्ट कटो मेरे तो मोटर साइड में is quite a steep climb and there is a 60 degree angle uh, drop on the left hand side so what you're seeing is is the vehicle is getting winched up which i'm going to show you in some minutes to few hours probably or a few seconds and they've tied another winch here around the tree they've strapped it so that this vehicle does not go down with the pull of gravity so this is how technical it gets in one of the most difficult stages of the rainforest challenge <coughs> now I'm gonna walk, try and walk ahead, show you guys more stuff. This is how it is tied. 
मात्र थ्री हजार मात्र थ्री हजार Where you put in the hook? Now from that that thing the metal part starts. So guys, like I told you, I'll be showing the winching sometime. So that is the place where the uh, metal cable is coiled up, and then they tie it to a. Uh, fixed point or say for example a tree in this case so it takes the weight and pulls the vehicle up and as the winch blanket this is the fj40 which i was talking to you about initially and trust me my angle of the camera is straight the angle of the track is such so inclined it will feel as if i am not holding the camera properly so guys from this point onwards we were doomed because of the power to weight ratio everyone tried it everyone tried a level best to get this vehicle out of this spot but it wasn't possible uh, it had rained just a few minutes back so you guys can make out the slush and the muck and second is we were trying to uh, haul such a huge vehicle against the forces of gravity so we had to do it very slowly and steadily to avoid it toppling but we couldn't do much and we ran out of time um, it went dark all the other vehicles went ahead we were left behind so we had no option but to leave this girl behind and trek down uh, 6 to 8 kilometers